Welcome back to our introductory course. In this video, we'll have a closer look at how to use Nexel to manage accounts and discover company-wide insights. Ready? Let's go. Under My Companies, you'll see all the companies with whom you've been engaging. Just like we saw in My Contacts, your company list is ranked chronologically by default and can be sorted or filtered. The same way Contacts can. In this list view alone, you can already see some key insights about each company. Beside the company's name and website, you'll see its location, as well as the total number of contacts your firm knows there. In the company type column, you can also see what type of relationship your firm has with the company. Out of the box, Nexel comes with a number of company type classifications, such as client, prospect, and referral source. Finally, we have an engagement chart representing the level of engagement your firm has had with each company throughout the year. The 12 bars represent the last 12 months, with the amount of blue representing the level of engagement in that month. The icons next to the engagement chart represent the tasks, meetings, and opportunities associated with each company, turning blue when there's one or more. Lastly, you'll see the last interaction someone at your firm had with that company. When you click on a company from your list, you'll open this detailed company record. On the left, you'll find a general overview of the company that's been automatically created using Nexel's data enrichment. You'll see the company's name, their industry, a description of what they do, as well as their address, website, social profiles, and employee count. From this left panel, you can easily set the company type and add custom tags to use in filters. You can use an existing tag or create a new one by typing it in and pressing enter. Let's dive into this company insights section. Here you can add a relationship partner to easily identify who within your firm is responsible for the overall relationship with this company. Just click the plus sign, search for and select the colleague you're looking for and press save. On the flip side, we have this key contact section where you can identify your main points of contact within this company. By setting relationship partners and key contacts, everyone at your firm stays aligned on important stakeholders and transparent on who holds the most information about accounts, prospective clients, and other relationships on a company level. Below that, you'll see a snapshot of any business opportunities associated with this company, as well as firm-wide trends in engagement from one quarter to the next. In this visual engagement chart, you get a more granular view of engagement levels on a daily basis, as opposed to the monthly basis we saw in your list of companies. The darker the color, the more interactions were exchanged on that day. To see the interaction level on a given day, just hover over one of the squares. Below the engagement chart is a quick overview of your firm's most recent meetings with this company and the most recent business development or marketing initiatives the company was a part of. Finally, at the bottom of the Insights tab, you'll find the top five contacts your firm engages with most at this company. It's like the who knows who feature, but on a company-wide level, instead of an individual contact level. You can see the total number of interactions with these top contacts, and when the last interaction was. On the right, you can get a sense of which of your colleagues have interacted with this contact. If you open up the dropdown, you'll get a more detailed breakdown, showing the number of interactions each colleague has had and when their most recent interaction was. You can even see which practice areas this company has and hasn't engaged with to easily identify account expansion and cross-selling opportunities. We're on Nexel's account, but just imagine each department you see here as a different practice area. Let's take a look at the other tabs we have available in this company record. The next one is the Contacts tab, where you can see all the contacts your firm knows at a company, beyond those top five ones we saw on the Insights tab. If you click on a contact from the list, it will open up the contact slider we saw in our last video. Next, we have the Prospects tab where you can find all the people at this company who your firm doesn't know yet. This is super useful in the business development context. Perhaps you have a prospective client where a few relationships exist, but you're not connected to the key stakeholders and decision makers yet. 
that's when you'd head to the Prospects tab. You can search for the contacts you need by name, job title, or location. You can learn more about them through their LinkedIn profile. And by clicking Find Contact Details, Nexel's Data Enrichment will find their email for you and create a detailed contact profile. Now you have everything you need to leverage your existing relationships and reach out to that key stakeholder. Your company records are also a centralized place to find firm-wide knowledge about a given company. You can see what opportunities your firm has with a company. Notes from other colleagues. A firm-wide activity feed. And easily create or manage any relevant tasks. Now that you know the depth of company insights you have available in Nexel, join me in our next video to learn how to leverage them for strategic business development.